And so a Miss Tiffany Henyard, who makes about a quarter million dollars a year, $250,000 a year, quite possibly three to four times the amount of money that the average person uh, in her city and state earns working multiple jobs. Uh, she is the mayor of Dalton and the supervisor of Thornton Township located just outside of Chicago and has stated that she plans to introduce a newly proposed bill that will provide $5,000 for women with cancer that can be claimed on their income tax. Now, this is after what is being described as um, misappropriation of funds and exploiting taxpayer dollars through the township of Thornton and uh, Dalton and Questions are being asked. Is this just another blatant abuse of political power and another way to take advantage of the people and steal their money from them? One person said that this is embarrassing and that, that they are sick of black politicians betraying our people, many whom have no skills in governance or finance except to cheat and scheme. Another saying, wow, this is tacky, horrible and horrendous. This is why we can't succeed or be appropriate for the occasion or events under any circumstances. She's not even embarrassed about the entire ordeal. Or how about this one? Disgusting. All of this is disgusting. Public corruption, self, ag self indulgence, arrogance and disrespect for the law using taxpayer money to fund a so-called charity event for a company that she has part ownership in. She avoids questions about how taxpayer money was spent, even though the expenses should be public record. When this catches up with her, and it will soon, she will fight, get loud and very dramatic and accuse her critics of racism. Yeah, woke government. Or better yet, this was a good one. This was a good one. When you're a thug and you become a mayor, this is exactly what happens. Just look at her nails, look at her clothes, look at her security, her lifestyle, and her car and her house. You'll find that she doesn't care about the city or anyone else. Even her speech is narcissistic. Now, according to, to reports, Dalton didn't vote for a mayor. They voted for a social media influencer to run the city. Corruption and greed does not discriminate based on skin color, folks. And it's not just the elected officials who are stealing money from you and I. Nope. Big companies and corporations continue to push prices higher, protecting profits, but adding to inflation. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to another video. My name's Kevin. K-E-V-I-N in all caps, youtube.com forward slash at Kevin 24 seven. I hope you guys are having an amazing and fantastic, wonderful day. Don't forget, get your free stocks link down below. Moo Moo's giving away free stocks. All you got to do is open an account and don't forget to get your money. Facebook settlement claims, $725 million being made available. Simple and easy application process. Get your money from Facebook up to reports stating up to a thousand dollars and also ways in which you can make 175 dollars a day by replying to comments on facebook make 40 dollars a tweet uh working from anywhere from a smartphone from a, a laptop iphone android macbook uh, um, posting tweets on twitter Links down below in the description as well as links to join our Patreon and connect with us directly. Squirrel Tribe, my wife Michelle, and I directly. So, have you guys noticed the prices of oil, transportation, food ingredients, and other raw materials in recent months? The effects coming of the shocking stemming, shocks stemming from the pandemic and the war in Ukraine fading away in the limelight of the mainstream, yet many big businesses have continued raising prices higher and higher. Some of the world's biggest companies have said that they, they do not plan to change course and will continue increasing prices or keep them at elevated levels for the foreseeable future. That strategy has cushioned corporate profits and it could keep inflation numbers up, contributing to the very pressures used to justify surging prices. 
PepsiCo has become a prime example of how large corporations have count- continued and countered increased costs and then some. And the company's CFO, chief financial officer, said that PepsiCo had raised its prices by enough to buffer further cost pressures in 2023. So what they're doing is they are pre price hiking to cover future inflation and higher costs and expenses, which only leads to more inflation. And at the end of April, the company reported it had raised the average price across its products by 16% in the first three months of the year. And that added to a similar size price increase in the fourth quarter of 2022 and increased its profit margin overall. The snacks and beverages sold by PepsiCo are now substantially pricier now. Pricier. I know you guys have noticed that they're pricier and they're quantities have been reduced uh if you just go out and go to walmart or go to Publix or kroger or wherever you buy your groceries the uh snacks the little bags of chips and things like that they're those are smaller but now they put them in this box and this box is like crazy it's crazy expensive and you, you're, you're literally paying like for this little bag of chips that used to be like 25 cents you're now paying like two dollars a bag for these little chips It would be far cheaper just to buy the bigger bag and then dump them into a Ziploc bag. But even the bigger bags are getting more expensive now, too. And the company told Bloomberg that they don't think that their margins are going to deteriorate at all. And in fact, what they said for the year is that they'll be at least even with 2022 and may, in fact, increase margins during the course of 2023. Customers have been upset and are angered. But they have largely kept buying while shareholders have cheered on the added increase to their overall investment portfolio and net worth and wealth building investments. Remember, folks, link down below. Go ahead and get your brokerage app. Start investing. Start investing because the consumer is going to continuously, you know, fuel this increase in price hikes and profitability until we pull back. Until we introduce some sort of demand destruction, this is going to continue on. So you can either you have you have a choice. Well, what side do you want to be on? You want to be on the winning side or you want to be on the losing side? And PepsiCo is not alone in continuing to raise prices. Other companies that sell consumer goods have also done well after having seen the average company in the S&P 500 stock index increase its net profit margin from the end of last year. And. If you want to know how to get invested in the S&P 500, hit me up. I will sh- I'll tell you guys how to do it. But you're going to need a, a brokerage app, so go ahead and get one. And, you know, this could be Weeble. It could be M1 Finance. It could be Acorn. It could be Robinhood. It could be Public. It doesn't matter. I can show you guys how to do it. And although margins are below their peak in 2021, analysts are forecasting that they will keep expanding in the second half of the year because for much of the past two years, most companies had a perfectly good excuse to go ahead and raise prices. And everybody knew that the war in Ukraine was inflationary, that grain prices were going up, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And they just took advantage of that. I mean, they really did. McDonald's reported that its sales increased by an average of 12.6% per store for the three months through March, compared with the same period last year. And about 4.2% of that growth has come from increased traffic and 8.4% from higher menu prices. The company attributed the recent menu price increases to higher expenses for labor, transportation, and meat. You know, the meat that they're pumping sawdust into and the meat that you can put magnets on, like these metallic meats and these GMO radiation-infused meats, prompting several consumer groups and initiated responses by pointing out that the recent upticks in the cost of transportation and labor have eased. But also, you know, we had cattle dying last year. We had avian, bird flu, chickens dying, being killed off. So that's just driving up meat prices, too. And a representative for the company said in an email that the company's strong results were not just a result of price increases, but also strong consumer demand for McDonald's around the world. But this is likely to be the early warning and alerts for consumers as things start to heat up. Reports released today shared U.S. employers added 339,000 jobs in May, but unemployment also rose. And hiring is expected to slow in the next month's report. 
And despite the May jobs report release showed the U.S. economy remains shockingly strong with more than 300,000 jobs created last month, the unemployment rate rose to 3.7 percent. And although the U.S. economy added 339,000 non-farm payroll jobs last month, marking the 14th straight month that job creation came in above what Wall Street economists had expected, we all know that the Fed is not going to be happy about this and they will likely retaliate. And that means more pain felt by businesses and families. The jobs market report comes less than two weeks before the Federal Reserve's next policy meeting, and investors are still expecting the central bank will pause its rate hiking campaign despite the labor market's surprising resilience. Data from the CME group on Friday showed there remains a 70% chance that the Fed leaves rate unchanged and ranges from 5% to 5.25%. But folks, 70% is not 100%. There's no guarantee that they're not going to raise the rates. The industry sectors that saw the biggest change were government jobs, healthcare, leisure and hospitality, food services and construction, while others saw declines layoffs, terminations, store closures, staffing shortages and liquidity crises, funding shortfalls and credit drying up along with traffic, business, revenues and profits. You would not be the only ones to be thinking to yourself right now, hey, what can I do to protect myself in the event that my industry goes down, my job gets lost, my income gets eliminated? And many others have already taken advantages of the opportunities down below simple free links for you guys to click on to gain access to side hustle income opportunities investment for beginner opportunities wealth building opportunities success uh, strategies towards building a solid safety net savings foundation and passive income streams that could potentially support you in the event of uh, the likelihood of unemployment affecting you and your family. Please do not let that happen to you. If you got questions, hit me up, let me know. Until next time, you guys take care. Be safe. I'll see you real soon. Bye.